What's up guys, it is Chris back with another news video and today we have news from Zodiac and a limited edition Pan Am World Timer. Let's flip the camera and take a look at some of the details. So as I mentioned in the intro, Zodiac are back with another Super Seawolf World Time GMT. This one is a limited edition and it is a true limited edition of only 182 pieces. Zodiac do a great job at limiting the numbers of watches that they make. They don't make a ton of them. So if you're getting a limited edition, usually that is a very low number, 182, obviously a good number. This is the reference Z09412, and it is a collaboration with Pan Am, so you have some Pan Am styling and color to this watch. This is a GMT, it gets a bi-directional bezel, it has a world time bezel, because it's a world timer, so you have the cities printed on that bezel. That bezel is made out of mineral crystal, so stainless steel with a mineral crystal insert. It's a 40 millimeter watch with a 13.6 millimeter thickness. It's powered by the Soprod C125, a collar or office GMT. All that means is that the GMT hand moves when you are changing the GMT time. That is really it. It is automatic and works very similar to an ETA or Salita product. 200 meters of water resistance. This is a Super Seawolf, so you do get 200 meters of water resistance, so essentially the same resistance that you would get from a dive watch, which is really good in this case. This is all stainless steel. It comes on the bracelet, which is sort of an oyster style rivet bracelet. And then of course you get an extra strap with it. That strap is a leather NATO strap. This will be $1,795 which I think is slightly expensive for what you're getting, but considering it's collaboration with Pan Am, it's pretty cool. This has not sold out, and I think there is a few different reasons why. They probably should have went with a blue dial on this watch, in my opinion, and did away with the logo that they put in the center. Sort of a ghost logo is in the center of the dial and takes up a majority of the dial. You also have a black chapter ring with a 24 hour scale. It sort of breaks up the colors a little bit. I really would have preferred a blue dial with a blue bezel. However, this is what they went with. I don't think it looks terrible, but it's probably not going to be as popular as if they went with a blue dial. With that logo, just one logo down at the bottom by the six o'clock. You also have a date on here, so the dial does look a little bit busy because of all of that. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think of this watch? What do you think of this collaboration with Pan Am? Recently, Timex did a collaboration with Pan Am. All of those watches pretty much sold out immediately. There's only 182 to the entire run of these, and this has not sold out yet. So only time will tell. Anyway, guys, tell me in the comments below, what do you think of this watch? What do you think of collaborations with Pan Am? There have been a few that have been peppering through the watch industry recently, and I'm actually pretty excited about it. I really do like them. Uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.